Mata in front of the I Love Nice sculpture here on the Promenade des Anglais. The sculpture was made to help the Niçois bounce back after the terrorist attack of July 14, 2014. And it has become a beloved spot to be photographed. It reminds Niçois that in spite of deep desolation and pain, we pull together to move forward. We have been knocked down again with COVID-19, the confinement and containment, which currently stresses the entire world. At the same time, Stanton has dealt with two destructive floods, and here in our back country, the Nice region, continues to sort out the devastation of massive rains that sent rivers of three valleys roiling to the sea. In one village alone, 64 houses were swept away. Many residents remained unaccounted for. Months will pass before roads and bridges are rebuilt. It seems everyone knows someone who suffered loss of life or home. How do we pull through these disasters? Here I am before you on a beautiful sunny morning where uh, during the confinement pods of dolphins swam and broke water right near the shore. All was quiet and calm. No noise, no pollution and nature broke forth with extravagant glory. I don't think I remember a prettier spring than this year. I lived that confinement like a prolonged retreat. Vata and I were able to have extra, door, extra outdoor time and we walked in contemplation and renewed appreciation of our world. Surely we have all found ourselves slowing down, doing less, and demanding less. We have simplified our lives and perhaps found this respite from busyness satisfying. I have. I feel a certain calm and peace. A peace which passes all understanding. The perspective of what is truly important. The compassion necessary for those suffering hunger, cold, loss of business, home, or life seems stronger than the frustration of a relatively minor problem that I need to resolve. So, I suggest simplify. Simplify priorities, must-dos, and ought-to-dos. Sink into yourself to find that inner being that is our immortal diamond of our existence. So Richard Rohr, a Franciscan priest, calls it. It is that part of you that was your being when you were born. Williams Wordsworth wrote that the infant trailing clouds of glory does come from God who is our home. I have always loved the image of that tiny babe swathed in clouds and backlit with glory as he stepped into the life. Obviously, that innocence diminishes as we create a persona to deal with the demands of society, deal with the necessities of making our life, getting what we want and what we need. This is not bad, it is necessary. Nevertheless, the tiny diamond is swept into a corner of our busy doing. So, 
seek that dust of glory that resides somewhere deep in your interior. That dust of glory that is your true self. Renew your perspective on the creation that is our home. Look again at those who surround you. God must have been rather frustrated when he said to his son, son, I'm going to send you back with a simpler commandment. Tell them to love me, to love themselves, and to love others. St. Francis included the entire creation, the bunnies, the birds, the spiders, the wolves, brother, son, sister moon, and all the flowers. Those were the simplest commandments. Forget the rules and regulations, just love and appreciate and give thanks for the gifts. The rest will work out. If the rules are worthy, they will take care of themselves as a result of your love. Love the helpless, the endangered, the widow, the orphan, the homeless, and those in prison. Simplify and be at one with your Lord. Allow his love to fill to overflow your being. Brother Sun is shining. All things bright and beautiful. All things great and small. The Lord God made them and loves them all. And pours upon down upon us the blessings and joy. Each and every one. And now a P.S. I want to share with you in front of the pink ribbon, which is the breast cancer uh, symbol for the month of October. And this has been placed in front of the I Love Niece. And I have beside me my superb photographer who made it possible for me to be photographed for you today. Now, Sophie is a teacher. She's taught classes for difficult and challenge children and now she has a class of the very youngest but always as an artist Sophie creates programs for her children that interest them and make them participate but this fall Sophie cannot go back to her students because after surgery she's just begun her chemotherapy and the first treatment was awful so we're hoping that the side effects will not be so bad as she continues her treatment. And I ask that you join in prayers for Sophie and for all those who are suffering from breast cancer and any other cancer. And thank you for sharing.